All right, people, welcome back. More vitamin and wine. So today is Monday, and that means that we are using Uber Archery, which is probably one of the more happier days. You know, it's it's like it's like my happiness is like a meter that slowly drains as the week progresses. And by Friday, I'm just like, I need the weekend off. And then I come back, and I'm like, yay, Monday, and I'm that happy again. So hopefully everything goes fine in this video, you know, especially since, you know, Uber Archery is one of the decks that doesn't really need a... Uh, the wall of shame like some of the other U Bell decks to combo. You know. Uh generally I don't even exceed that often, so it's just nice to be able to still do my plays and chill. So let's go ahead and just get U Bell ready. Let's just go ahead and get U Bell ready. So unless my opponent does absolutely fuck all to piss me off, I should be chill, because you know, Yubel Archings has been doing pretty well since we added it and tweaked it and this it's, it's turned into a fine, fine U Bell deck slash archery deck because you know, who would thought I'd ever be playing Art Fiends? Not me, but I'm glad that they have enough synergy to make it worth my while. Uh, you know, we're just going to see other decks. Other decks are kind of a little bit shaky as of late, you know. Um, Ebridite seems okay, you know, the Tomato seems okay. And, and the Chain would definitely help, but it seems like the deck will be fine without the Chain. Xyz uh, hurts, it really does, because, you know, i got a lot more to send in that deck. Okay, I don't know. He clicked my deck. I mean, he clicked my deck. He clicked my monster, and then he did nothing with it. So, wow, what is this? What is this? I'd say do we gotta go. We gotta go back to caveman Yu-Gi-Oh, people. You you don't you don't want to see no caveman Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know why he clicked my monster. Like you didn't have to click it. All you had to do was just scroll your mouse over my monster to look at it. But you clicked that as if you were gonna do something to it. You know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you how to use fucking DN, but it's just weird. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing good comes from Rabbit. Ever. Ever. Continue. Okay. Continue. What are you doing? Like, really? Why do you keep bashing the... <sighs> Scrubs! <laughs> Damn. It's like, really? Like... Like, uh, I don't even know what you're doing. Like, all you have to do is click view deck, go in there, and summon two monsters. But no, no, you're just gonna keep on banishing the top card of your deck and fuck it up and then quit. Like, really? Like, good luck, have fun. But, you know, good luck, have fun in retrospect to the fact that I don't know how to use Deanna and I'm gonna quit in like two minutes. Like, awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully, this person at least knows how to use Deanna. Like, I've, 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 I've dealt with people who don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh correctly, but don't even know how to use the program correctly? Shit, I'm surprised he even knew how to type into the damn box. Like, should've known, should've known. Tan's not terrible, not that bad. Let's go ahead and see what my opponent does. Set a card, set a card. He knows how to set cards, people. All right, set three, all right, set three and pass. Mm. Hmm, now the question is, do I want to tour guide it up, or do I want to just summon Eris? Hmm. No, I'll risk it. I'll risk the tour guide. I can take it go slow. Let me summon. Alright, that's it. You have three back row, so. You got that Fiendish Chain? Let's go. I'm going to ask you if it's okay. Ring of Destruction. Alright, that's fine. I still get the effect, so. Not like that negates my my effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and summon Eris. I guess I'll go ahead and slap you in the face for another thousand. So I'll go ahead and set this, even though it'll probably get MST'd. Yep. <laughs> I was like, I'll go ahead and set this, even though I know it's probably going to get MST. Get MST? Yes. <laughs> ah. It's like I played this game of Yu-Gi-Oh, right? <laughs> Alright, so, 
We're gonna need to need some. We're, gonna, we're going to need to see some monster action. All right, all right. So it's clearly some kind of form of Dragon Unity, because no other deck is playing Dragon Unity except for Dragon Unity. So, wow. So he opens up Dragon Veen and doesn't really use it first turn. So, gonna use Dragon Veen, discard, and I guess send the uh, Dragon Unity monster. I guess I don't know. So you're going to pitch to search, then equip it with the lance, which will allow you during your main phase, you can equip on Dragoonity, and then play Vagiana, and touch yourself on the vagina. Yep. Yep. Been a cool minute since I've seen Dragoonities. You know, Ravine back at two now, that's good. We had Ravine, piss a Ravine. That's what happens when you have two Ravines. You use the run near one Ravine to piss the other Ravine. That's at two. <laughs> Whenever the next list comes out, Dream will of course go to three, and then Dragon Knees are back at full power. Yay! And and they're not even that expensive because Raya Jirana got reprinted, so that's nice. Hurry up and summon vagina. It's not vagina. Once turn during your pitch, you can add one level four or lower. Dragon type of ranger on your hand, then discard one drink. Oh. And you didn't get Vagirana, why? Did you need some Vagirana, why? Oh, okay, I guess you're gonna combo more. Out one level four lower dragon type or wing beast type monster from your deck to your hand. Then discard it, then you're gonna pay four hundred to special summon it. Okay. Still don't know where you're going with this. Alright, I will take the four hundred and get my effect. Uh go ahead and give me an Emperor. Seriously, I, I don't know why you didn't get your vagina on. <sighs> the only thing is, even if I dark hole him, he's still gonna have plays for next turn. Because he can return his dragons already, and he can go ahead and activate dragons. He pits the card that he's gonna draw, grab another duck, duck summon uh, the, with the phalanx in the graveyard, and then do the play. The same exact play. So. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, yeah. Might as well just throw the dark hole as ass. Why not? Why'd I search for another emperor if I already had an emperor? Oh, I drew into another emperor. I drew into an emperor. I was like, why, why would I do that? Alright, then we'll go ahead and normal summon you because I want you in the graveyard. Fact. I'll go ahead and. Banish to destroy. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead, gonna have to do with a sink next turn. Hopefully he does the vagina play, not what he just did fucking last turn because that was just bad. That wasn't even worth it. But I guess it prevented me from destroying his uh. His. Filt spell. I could just deal with that next turn. Good. So, go ahead and draw. Play your Ravine. Ravine, pitch the card that you just drew. Search for Ducks. Ducks, summon Phalanx. Phalanx, summon back. Go into Vagriana. Vagriana, equip. Unequip. And sink and death. Stardust? Like I said, I'm, try I'm, trying to I'm trying to see your plays, but... I also don't like that my opponent here is skipping phases. So there you go, you have Dragon Ravine and you have the Lance, which is exactly what you want Dragon Ravine to do with the whole Phalanx play, so, there you go. Yeah, they, I guess it was the constant searching that you were missing when Dragon Ravine was banned and lots of people were crying about it. I don't know, like I said, it seems like the Lance, it seems like they tried to make it up to you with the Lance, but. Like I said, are your plays obvious? Mm-hmm. Now vagina, right? Right? Vagina time? May I see your vagina? Your vagina?
Come on, summon it. Damn. What are you, 500 attack? Okay. That shouldn't be game. So I got half my life points. So I'm assuming you're just gonna go into like a Stardust or something. There you go, it's fucking skipping shit. Spark. Alright, I guess. Mm. Yeah, makes me wish that I ran moon. <laughs> so this is if you can charge on your special this card, but it can't attack this turn. You can only special on this one. This card will target one arc and you control. Destroy that target when this card is. The only thing that sucks is that he's gonna be applying way too much pressure to me soon. Oh wait, no he's not, because He's of course gonna get another Doc's Phalanx combo. <sighs> nah, still don't like Dragonities. This is inherent, so it'll be too late, so I'll go ahead and special and destroy. The thing is that I can't fucking attack. This can't attack, nor can my Emperor attack off of Calvary. That sucks. Like he could, then he could just make a hot red next turn. What's your defense? 2,000. Mm. Yeah, I think he might have this. Yeah, I think he might have this, because I'm going to go ahead and summon you and have Hot Red, but he's just going to go Pitch, Search, Ducks, Phalanx, Ducks, Adriana, Hot Red, Hot Red, destroy my shit and attack directly, so. Uh, I think he might have this. No more summon? Then I'll go ahead and special summon. Alright. Alright, summon Emperor. Think about summoning defense mode. Because if he goes for hot, then that's game. So, at least if I go in defense mode, then even if he goes into hot, I'll still live and then he can just attack. The only hot can attack, so you know, to attack and then do a play next turn, but I'm still probably fucked. Uh, I wish you guys can tank when you're summoned. Like, why can't you attack when you're summoned? Like, God. It's not fair. You can, like, special summon a shit ton and still attack. I wish I could just go effect, pop, and then attack, but I can't, so. There's no point in me using my effect to banish to pop because he could just once per time block any card from being destroyed, so. I need a top deck until I get another Dark Hole over Geki, and then I'm still fucked. Yep, yeah, yep, still don't like Dragon Knees. This Phil Spell does put in a lot of work, though, because it's, it's literally just getting whatever you want every single turn. But hey, at least Dragon Knees are back, people. It's not like they're going to be a threat to the meta, it's just I'm a little bit too slow to be competing with them. I would have drew just a little bit better. I drew a lot of monsters, and I was just a little bit too slow. If I was a turn faster. Adriana, scrap. Okay, same thing. Yeah, that's it. I right, shuffle. I wanted to see the top card, but I ended up clicking the shuffle button. What does it matter? Yeah, but I was just too slow. Yep. I said if I was running a faster, stronger deck, maybe I'd be able to keep up. But I was just too slow. Even for Dragoonity's sake. But hey, you got two ravines and you're equipped. You, you, you still got some powerful plays, Dragoonity. You're just not there because you're slow. But I'm slower than you. <laughs> That's sad. I'm slower than Dragoonity's. What a sad day. <laughs> Alright, well. Go ahead and write a search. I didn't open up fantastically, but I didn't open up terribly either. Drew Terror. And that's just a straight up dead draw, so. I think I play one rota too, so I think I play one rota. I'm not sure. I don't know how many rotas I, I run. Let me check. How many rotas do I run? Oh, no. I run more than one rota. I run two? Three. Okay, I'm going to say two does not seem right. So, 
we'll go ahead and of course send the bell and then we'll send Eris and Eris will be her fat. Go ahead and search me for Roar? Yeah, Roar. So, wish I got a little bit more revival. It's like last duel. Pretty much like last duel. I need a little bit more revival to do plays outside of my normal summon. Or else I'll get outpaced depending on the speed of the deck of my opponent. I was always saying MST, you just saw me search for Roar and you're just gonna throw the MST at my Roar. Like, alright, well at least it wasn't in the other piece of revival, you would be facing down Terra right now, so you got lucky. Gale. Oh well, you know what, I can still go ahead and Black Rose to field next turn, so. No, it's another one of them decks that got hit and slowly got all its shit back and let's see you can outpace me. It sure does look like he's gonna outpace me though. I'm assuming that's an Icarus attack face down. Damn. I'm just too slow. I'm just too fucking slow with this deck. Especially when they open up great, like, Dragonity player opens up his Dragon Ravine, Blackwing guy opens up his Warwind, like, there's just particular cards that got hit that they get back, and then all of a sudden they're just doing really great with them again. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. Interesting to say the least. Mm-hmm. Is that you want your effect? Like I said, I'm assuming... Oh, wow, so you don't want your effect. No. No. You didn't, you didn't get your effect. Like, really? Like, now all of a sudden you're going in your deck, you should have got your effect as soon as you killed my Armageddon Knight. Now you've already declared a re-attack on my Eris, and you're like, oh yeah, effect now. Like, no. There's timings to this shit. You can't just do shit whenever you want, willy-nilly. I get my effect, and I think because you didn't, because you didn't activate it when you attacked Armageddon, you decided not to get it. with threes. It's like, really? I'm gonna go ahead and get Commander. Yet you're still all up in your deck. You're bad. You're the one that doesn't know how to play. Sorry this isn't fucking Depro, it's not an automated system. No, it's just that you cannot special summon synchro. You cannot synchro one child for synchro summon black wing monster. Right? You're the one that didn't want it. Mm-hmm. Can I get some revival on this duel? No. All right. Ugh, this duel is gonna be a pain in the dick just because I don't have any goddamn revival. But if you play your Chris attack now, and then you gotta destroy your whirlwind. I said there's a structure to these things. I'm gonna go ahead and get Eris, and then if you activate your Icarus attack and blow up my Eris, I'll get my search. But if you don't, then Black World on you. So either or, you're gonna be, you got to do something. Like I said, whenever I duel against Black Wings, they always open up with Icarus attack. That's funny. Dragoonies and Black Wings, they're both decks that run Icarus attack. All right, I'm guessing it's fine because you're taking fucking forever to respond. Black Rose. Right. Mm 
not black grass. Was it Icarus Attack? No, it was Black Sonic. Okay. Go ahead. I don't like leaving myself open. He's running more than a 40 card deck in Black Wings, too. Hmm. And I guess now he wants to take it slow all of a sudden. Like, really? Hmm. Where are my revival? Like, I haven't got any fucking revival. Like, damn. I'm going to discard special effect and discard because I really don't need you to our guide. And send you Bell. Summon Calvary. Effect. Special summon Emperor. Blow up Calvary. Calvary, go ahead and summon me. Eris. Yeah. No, I don't want I don't want to waste all them damn resources. So this is probably like a fucking Panaka or whatever its fucking name is. Hmm. And I can't even do my fucking Emperor play because I can only see my Fiend type monsters. Special summon Fiend type monsters. Damn, I can't even do that. I just need fucking revival. And once again, I'm just still just too fucking slow. Instead of sending you Bell, I'm gonna send Emperor. Because I can do the Emperor play next turn. So I'm assuming it's Panaka. No. Buy you. Alright. Yeah, I can do the play next turn. There you go, you can target one non turner black wing monster in your graveyard. Right? Banish both. Has to be one? Yeah. One. Banish both this card and the target if you do special summon one black wings. Total or equals, but it's effect from the dead. Okay. Is there a level 5 black wing secret monster? I don't think so. I'm not sure. No, there's level 6. Oh, there's a, there's a level 8, isn't there? So we can banish Bayou. And his armor master summon an 8. I think there's an 8. Yeah, I think there's an 8. Really, nigga? Now that's all of a sudden it's fucking Blackwing Bills of the Ball of Dragons. You can't do that shit. Thank you. Oh my god, you're scrub. So hopefully you have a fucking level eight. Like I, th I think they do. It's that one guy. I can't remember his name because I don't know any of the Blackwings that aren't important. I know he's in the non important one though. Before you banish multiple, it's one. So, it can either be level four, level five, okay. Well, this is still in the graveyard then. Oh, Rota, again, okay. No revival, still. Still. I know I run triple call the haunted, triple awake, triple limit verse, nah. None. None! Alright. Alright, let me summon you. Let's summon you. Let's join you. You get your effect. Let's summon you. Get your effect. Summon you, of course. Go ahead and banish you. Destroy you. Alright. As I said, I couldn't attack with these two anyway, but you wanted to scoop it up anyway, so. All right, there we go. Done. <laughs> anyway, seriously, like it seems like 
I should have lost both of them. I just got outpaced. I just got lucky that I was able to black her. Black her as the field, and he didn't have anything else. But if he did, he would have outpaced me, just like the Dragoonity guy. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of MMY. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Cosmic Ebell. No. Abadai Ebell. Look, they both have the yellowish thumbnails. Shut up. Abadai Ebell. Uh, and if you guys are wondering about the league, the league should start this Saturday, so I uh, get hyped. So thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow.